Hey everyone, um, I just finished cutting uh, yesterday after late afternoon and I'm just checking on hay to rake today. And uh, it's just me and Jake here seeing what we're doing and uh, just checking up on it. So I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. So this is a low spot. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm checking low spots to see how bad it is. So that's water. That's a lot of water. That's not great. Um, where I am, it is a lot, a lot of hills. So everything's on hills. Everything rolls. That's just part of it. You take the good with the bad. If you learn how to use it, it can work out to your favor. But this is all super soaked. Um, it's rained so much here this time of year. It's, it's been insane. So under the hay that everybody's not really noticing is a crap ton of water. Um, in all the low spots and this gully goes from the top of my hills down and onto the neighbor's property so he can deal with the water um, but with what's with such growth in grass like actually walk through walk through there see how wet it is here walk through that see how deep he's going in not loving it that is uh, a lot of water yet so I almost got the tractor stuck once that was fun with the mower and I can see even on high spots I can see the tire tracks of the mower from the weight of it and the clay just compacting so it's all drying well um, I've noticed that nature has a funny way of figuring out what works and what doesn't in certain crops this year because it's been so wet I have a lot more hairy vetch in my crop, in my hay crop. Um, there's a good amount of Timothy actually too. Um, there's orchard that's flowering, which are going to seed, which I'm not in love with because it's late, but you can't win everything. But it's just funny though, how uh, nature just knows what to do, what, what grows and what doesn't. When you have a wet year, um, you just have a lot more of different things. So this year there's more hairy vetch in all the low spots. There's a lot more canary grass and even species that I haven't seen in years, which is reed, um, not reed canary. Uh, it's a red canary grass on around the, the ponds and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just crazy how it knows what to do and what grows in wet spots and everything. I lost a bale in one of these freaking fence lines. Um, if, if you see where I'm walking, actually I'll show you here. This fence line actually was an original driveway. Um, so from where the top of the hill is on our farm, it rolls back to the forest. And when they originally created this property, they fenced that all in. So it's a tree driveway and it goes all the way back to your forest. So you would work forest, but our family being a cattle family, couldn't give a crap about forest. Really didn't see it having any value. The only thing this fence line ever worked as, as a driveway, is to access the back pasture that we can see through here, going to the second section of the pasture. And you could bring hay up and down the driveway without having to open and shut gates all the time for cattle. So that was all it ever got used for. And uh, I hope to change that a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Um, and get it so it's back because there's old, new growth trees in it and stuff and I'd like to clean it up and make the forest into something that you can walk through and enjoy and use and take the benefit of because there's a lot of good things that go on in a forest that you can use on your farm it's just another arm right another arm of the farm that you can use for something so on that note guys I'm gonna head out and uh, probably put the rake on the V rake and uh, just get her tested out. I was hoping I was going to be cutting Saturday, but I guess I shouldn't have put that on video because it started, the weather changed on me. And uh, Wisconsin has a storm, and the way the winds look, it's going to blow over us, right? So there's an intense storm over Wisconsin right now, and uh, that's going to ruin my Sunday, which would stop my three day dry period that I would have had. A lot of guys have hay down right now. I didn't want to do that. Um, as you can see, that water that's there, I want that to dry out if I can. The more days that I allow air to circulate through the hay pasture or the hay field, the better. 
So that's why I decided to not um, cut everything because it'll just rot the living crap out of my fields. This way it'll dry up and at least it'll get some of the moisture out. Um, I'll sacrifice any of the stuff in the low gullies and uh, make sure that I don't bail that into mud hay. I don't want that. So take care guys, keep farming, keep having fun.